Hello my friends, welcome back to the beginner account. So, I recorded Battle 100 on uh, on my beginner account, but then I, I, I noticed I get a lot of questions on how to beat Battle 110 on normal beginner account. So I'm gonna upload this video fast before I upload the video for 100 because I think this video is gonna be more helpful for more people because this battle is actually very, very tough, especially for newer players. Because of the Shang Tsung, whenever you lose a character, he heals. So, how how do you even beat him? Because if you have a weak team, you will probably not be able to. Like he will heal fa if, if he's gonna heal all three of your characters, he'll get, he's gonna heal off all, any damage that you can possibly do. There is one thing you can do. First, you need to take down boss classic reptile. So let's do uh, just that right now. Obviously, you're gonna do this by uh, by using classic Ermac. Using my uh, tower boss. No wait. I'm, I'm actually gonna use my battle 60 team with a silver Kenshi because I want to have some extra power drain for Shang Tsung because his special two is also will allow him to heal, which is not ideal. It's not ideal at all. So one of the ways you can do it... Well, okay, let's finish with Reptile first, and then we talk how to take down uh, Shang Tsung. Basically, just drain him little by little. So now, when Reptile is almost dead, you actually don't want to finish him. You want to you wanna actually die. But you want to die to Reptile, and you want to die within 1 minute and 30 seconds. So you actually want to basically let him kill you uh, before... Okay, this... This was not ideal, but... We did do some damage to Shang Tsung. See? So you... After you got Reptile super, super low... You actually don't want to finish him, because if Shang Tsung kills you... He will heal off any damage you did to him. So you need to have Reptile in there to kill you while you're draining Shang Tsung. So get Reptile down. I'm literally just realizing this is a strategy right now. I should have played this differently. So you don't even need to take Reptile that low. You just need to make sure that you die. Ideally, you want to, uh, to snare Reptile. So he's the one killing you. So take a look at your collection. I literally just came up with this. I had totally different idea coming into this video, but now I'm realizing this is so much m more smart to just keep your reptile on. So take a look in your collection. Who has a snare? Oh, I have Injustice to Raiden that has a snare on special two. Doesn't have to be Injustice to Raiden. You can use classic Ermac. Special 2, just give him Wrath Hammer. That's actually what I'm gonna do, since I'm using him already. Let's just do this. Let's give him Wrath Hammer so he started with Special 1. Which I already do. <laughs> and uh, now I just tag to this guy and try to snare the Reptile as, as, as soon as possible. So I'm actually gonna even start with him. And the idea is to die after 30 seconds. When the clock is below 1 minute 30 seconds, that's when Reptile's damage, uh, that's when Ermac's damage ends. And there is no, absolutely no point for you to stay. So you're basically gonna kill Shang Tsung purely by classic Ermac damage. That's it. But you have to die to classic Reptile. If you don't die to classic Reptile, you're doing things wrong because Shang Tsung is, you don't want him to heal. So let, let's try this again in action. And again, you don't need to take Reptile down before starting the strategy. You can start it right away. I made a mistake. I was planning on a completely different strategy, but now I'm realizing this is far superior. I just accidentally killed Reptile. Uh, so I I just closed the game and re restarted the game because without Reptile, this battle is literally unbeatable. If you already beat Reptile and you only left with Shang Tsung. Oh, that is going to be tough, man. If you if you did that, Oh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> but still doable, you just need to find a way to uh, somehow not die for, for a very long time? 
I don't know guys, what do you think would be the best strategy if you already killed Reptile and you're only facing boss MK11 Shang Tsung with a very weak team? How do you not die for two minutes? I wonder... he's not immune, so he... I, I don't think it's possible to do if you kill, kill off boss Reptile, so you shouldn't. You shouldn't kill off boss Reptile, so yeah, let me do that. I'm just gonna block... And just let him kill me within 30 seconds. Actually, I'm not even just gonna block. I'm just gonna let him kill all of my characters. Because I'm probably gonna get one Revenant or Bone Shield or something, so... I'm just gonna stand here and just let him do his thing. This is probably stupid. Again, it would be so much easier if I didn't take Reptile this low. But it's a little bit too late for that. Okay, two down. Well, Shang Tsung, again, he will heal off a little bit if, he le if you let him kill one of your characters. So ideally, you want to let Reptile to kill all three characters, but this is, this is the way, guys. This is the way if you have really weak characters that are unable to kill Shang Tsung within one try. If Shang Tsung takes in before you want him to take in, you can still do some damage to him. Hopefully, maybe uh, he will not kill you because you'll be able to survive for a little bit. And actually, that's good because Reptile... Ooh, Reptile teched out, which means that he will maybe even regenerate a little bit, which is good for us right now. Okay, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Take out. Take out! Why are you still here? You you are not welcome here. Take out, I say! Ah, oh, you stupid piece of garbage. Why doesn't he take out, guys? Oh, because we killed Reptile. <sighs> okay, this battle is... Absolute hell, it took me insane amount of tries, mostly because it's my fault that I took down Reptile too low. You want to keep him as healthy, do not hit him at all. He needs to be taking damage at the same pace as Shang Tsung, it's gonna make your life so much easier, but at some point you're gonna inevitably uh, get stuck with Reptile that is gonna be lower in health than Shang Tsung. Honestly, if Shang Tsung manages to kill your character, just quit the game, just quit the battle and restart. You can't allow Shang Tsung get a single tick of healing. Do not die to Shang Tsung. Die to Reptile. Except the last character. The last character can die to Shang Tsung. That will allow him not to heal. And also make sure that Classic Ermac doesn't die to Reptile when he's low because he will kill the Reptile. And it's bad. You don't want Reptile to die. You want Shang Tsung to die first. Or at least you need to wait until Shang Tsung is very, very low in health. And he can only get low in health if you don't let him heal. So, again, I'm gonna show you how usual battle goes. That It took me probably like 13 tries because there, there was so many attempts when it didn't work. When Shang Tsung would take in too early and heal, kill one of my people. But ideal, ideal matchup is when Reptile... Like, when this happens, this is very bad because... Uh, Ermac cannot die right now. Ooh, that was close. Okay, can she actually want to die? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, this is not perfect. No! Okay, see, he healed. Which means quit. I can't. He can't quit. He can't heal. You have to get super lucky when... So, Reptile kills two of your characters and then Shang Tsung kills one. This is the only way, guys. If your Reptile is dead... You're done. I don't think you can beat it. Unless, like, especially if you have weak characters. This battle is insane, man. So I just tag with Kenshin. Just let him die. Make sure you turn off your Revenant. It's gonna make things so much easier. You can control it much better. You need to make sure that Reptile kills two of your characters. Maybe even three. Three is not bad. Bad is when he kills 
less than two. This is perfect. Chain Tsung still took a lot of damage. Now let's see if they are low enough that, that we kill them in the next round. I, I really... Oh, Shang Tsung is not low enough yet. He needs to be literally one shot. But good thing about it, if you fail, you can always restart that. Just quit the game before it ends and it's not going to save anything that happened in the round. That is an amazing strategy. It's going to take you a lot of tries, but at least it's doable. This battle is doable, guys, even with like the bronze team and classic Ermac. Okay, come on, Reptile. I, I would turn off the Revenant. I'm just too lazy to reset my whole talent tree. Okay, Revenant saved Reptile. This is good. This is really good. Kill my Kenshi. Please kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Good job. No Revenant. Oh, God. Nope. Yep, this is not gonna work. Yeah, this, this takes a lot of tries. God damn it. But Ermac needs to be there. He he is the only one that can damage Shang Tsung reliably. Fight. All right, let's. It's almost over, guys. Just a few more tries, and this battle will be done. All right, kill him. Kill them all. Kill them all. Good job, Reptile. Kill him. Kill him. Don't take out, please. 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 Yes! Oh, this is good. This is so good. This wasn't great. He healed, but I think he still healed... He healed less than he was before, right? Or he didn't. I don't even know. I think he might have healed way too much. Oh, God. I think he's about the same place he was. Should I just... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm gonna just go with my... Uh, Johnny Cage and just try to kill them both right now. If I don't have enough damage, I'm just gonna quit the battle. I hope I'm making the right choice. I really hope. I really hope I have enough damage not to die. If I die to Shang Tsung, it's all over. Fight. I can't afford to die. Okay, let's try this. Okay, please tell me I have enough damage. Please tell me I have enough damage to kill the Shang Tsung. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna do this. Are you s Really? Am I gonna do this? Yes! Freaking legend. And this is how you beat battle 110 if you have super weak team. I think in, in the previous tower, Alex did it using silver team and classic Ormac. This is actually even easier. Using a weak team without Revenant will allow you to survive just long enough. You can control how long you survive. You just need to survive for 30 seconds. But in this case, you also don't want to kill Reptile. And you don't want to kill Shang... Uh, you want to try to make sure that you kill them both in the same round. Or kill Shang Tsung first. So you need to drain him as low as possible. And do not die to him. Do not die to Shang Tsung. That would be very bad. Another way to beat this would be, well, another way will only allow you to beat him if you can reliably survive for two minutes with all three of your characters. If you can't, you won't be able to beat him. I'm sorry, guys. If you already if you already killed Reptile, this is not gonna work. So don't kill Reptile. I hope I hope I I, I make this video on time. I'm gonna post it as soon as I can. I, I'm gonna post it tomorrow, so don't beat Classic Reptile. Save him. You need him. Thank you for watching. Let's see what we get for Battle 110. It's gonna be some kind of garbage, right? Oh. <gasps> well, I just got a full, <laughs> full Shang Tsung brutality set on my beginner account, but I still don't have Shang Tsung. That is crazy, and probably never will on this account. But anyway. I'm pretty proud of this. It took me like 15 or maybe even more tries, probably 15 tries. And uh, half of them I had to just... No, it was more than 15. It was good 20 tries. And half of them I had just had to back out of the game because Shane Tsung would kill one of my characters. 
Oh god. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm gonna try to get as far as possible in this tower. I'll see you in the next video. Good luck with the tower. And goodbye.